Hey everyone, Anthony Peter One M, and welcome to my channel. I find that reputation, the topic of reputation, is a very interesting one because if everyone thought and felt the same way, we would all be the same person. We would all be clones of each other, but we're not. And for that reason, the things that we admire in other people is a sort of residual effect because we cannot fully appreciate the true value of somebody else unless we are the other person. So we never will be. And for that reason, reputation is somewhat a nebulous concept. I'm just thinking back to the times when I've done some really good things in life, um, been really accomplished or done something really, really, really good and not been appreciated by my teachers or my peers or somebody. And I felt that there have been occasions where I've done the same thing to other people as well. Um, but to be honest with you, I do generally acknowledge the people who have benefited me the, me the most and I put people in their rightful place in my life. Um, for example, for example, I'm a great admirer of people like Shakespeare, Mozart, Beethoven, Bach, uh, these sorts of people. And I feel that they have a big place in my life where other people have had less effect on me. So, yeah. And I think of people like Van Gogh or Van Gogh, or whatever you want to call him, um, the great Dutch artist who only sold one painting in his lifetime and suffered a terrible life and terrible death as well, I suppose, um, being un underappreciated by everybody and yet being recognised as a genius in his in his posthumous era, his legacy. Then you've got great people like David Leonardo da Vinci who were probably more appreciated but still probably underappreciated in their time. But uh, we recognise him as a genius now. I do reflect a lot on the best things that I've done in my life, such things as writing the poem Inland Surfer in 1998, which I regard as my greatest poem ever written and one of the greatest poems ever written. I um, have composed some really brilliant pieces on of music on the piano and I've done some great speeches in my time as well, which not, not many people know about. Um, I wouldn't call my YouTube presence particularly great, but it has elements of greatness in it, um, which are underappreciated. And I've only got, you know, 120, 31 subscribers and that sort of thing. But the point I want to make is that gr appreciating greatness is, is much harder uh, than it first seems to be because we are not all one and the same person. I do want to be account to take account of all the th great things that I've, done, uh, that I've done in my life, and it's hard to do that. But <clears throat> my sort of vision is to, um, at, by the end of my lifetime, have published something which has all the great stuff which I've ever thought about, all my best ideas uh, contained in the one book for easy access by everybody and probably give it out and distribute it to particular people for free as well just to get my name recognised. It's going to be pretty hard because most people won't appreciate it but just throw the book away, you know, and I think I've got to market it specifically for people who can appreciate what I've done in life. Just as an example, some of the melodies which I've composed in the Chopinesque um vein or style in my in my YouTube channel here, which you'll find out in my musical compositions, uh, are not great pieces as such, but they have elements of inspiringness and, you know, sort of, they're not my best work, but um, I still find them quite valuable as, as a standard measure for what I could do in the future. But um, seriously, writing music is is very variable and it's it uh it's objectives are always changing so yeah i'm not the sort of person who will be very rich with a job or something because i'm not consistent enough and my abilities lie in certain things certain talents which i have but i realize that i have less ability to hold down a job or uh, to, to complete a university degree or do something like that. So my abilities are very specific 
and I've got to develop those in my particular area to, to, to be acknowledged as a great person. One of the memories which I remember quite a lot are, includes my student council speech to Edison House in 1996 or for 1996. I think it was probably at the start of 1996 when I stood up in front of, uh, at the lectern, in in front of you know ninety about ninety people and and was really really hilariously funny and and charismatic and I got the position of student council representative but my housemaster didn't appreciate me because he thought I was being too um, biased towards whatever I don't know but he had his own particular way of looking at the world which was very very narrow minded and. He didn't acknowledge me as such and he thought that I was a bad character because I had a bad reputation in his eyes uh, based on something that I've done in previous years. So, you know, I think there's a great quote by Iago which I would like to look up. I can't find it now, but uh, Iago in Shakespeare's Othello said that, you know, reputation is a very variable sort of thing and the the lives that we have in other people are compromised by their by their perceptions so i wonder if i do have a legacy at all i wonder if my legacy will live on after i die i wonder if people will acknowledge that what i've done in my life have had elements of greatness in them and whether my composition highway amble for example will 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 live on with future musicians or something like that it's unlikely that they will, but I'm hoping that they will because I think that they should be acknowledged and that these things are precious to humankind and to society as a whole. So, yeah, I do feel a bit sad that I will die uh, die with my legacy, but um, I hope that won't be the, the case and I hope that I will publish something that has all my collected works, my best works, in it together for people to appreciate in the future. Okay, folks, I hope you got something out of this video, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.